January 21st, 2011, 11.43 Eastern Time, home base. I'm getting ready to head out to Austin, Texas for the epic showdown with Akira Razor and Triple X, known as, for one night only, known as Razor X against Jack Bull and the UFO Casey Starr, the Intercontinental Champion of the CWF. <coughs> let me let you guys in on a little something here. Casey Starr, I'm getting sick and tired of, of whooping your ass all the time. I've done it time and time and again. And there's gonna there's gonna become a point. Our paths are going to cross one more time, and it's going to be an all-or-nothing ordeal, and it's not going to turn out in your favor at all, boy. Trust me on it. You ain't going to like it. I've made a career of ending careers. And Jack Bull, you, you motherfucking big-ass pain in the ass. That's all you've been to me since... Since Dublin, Ireland, boy. And if you're in my match against Kamalama, debut match, you wanted to chump me, and then and then you and then you try to pull that bullshit cowboy stunt that against me again. But this time, I came out as the future Icons champion in my second match ever in the CWF. And buddy boy, you knew our, our paths were going to cross one day. But a little bit sooner than you expected. After I won that title, guess what, motherfucker? I was in your face. You may have knocked me down, but I stood up to you. Fast forward a little bit later. I, call, I called your punk ass out. And um, what's his name? Um, Ziggy Stardust. I'm sorry. David Bowie's son. I'm sorry. Casey Starr's little punk ass out. I call both of your sucker asses out in a three-way elimination no disqualification match at Halloween Loaded. I whooped your ass like like you ain't never got in your life, Jack Bull. I whooped your ass like your like your daddy should have done to you. Same with you, Casey Starr. I whooped your ass like like your old daddy should have done to you too, boy. But all you did, Jack Bull, use the excuse of running out of the match. Because <laughs> I smell fried chicken. Bullshit, motherfucker. What you what you smelled was was me popping up after you put your little greasy ass finger on my on my chest after you delivered a deep fryer on me. And what I would have done to you would not have been pretty. You pop that little greasy ass finger on me like that. One, two. I wrap my legs right around your shoulder, flip you over on your back. I want to let go until until both your elbow pop and your shoulder pop. Meaning, meaning I break your fucking arm in two locations, boy. Notice the trend here. Fast forward even further. Countdown destruction countdown to destruction, son. I talk to talk, I walk to walk, and guess what? I kicked your ass again, boy. Notice the trend here? You're already hobbling on one bad leg, son. And guess what? Worked you over again. Slapped that ankle lock on you, jacked your leg up even worse. I tell you one thing. Whether it's whether it's loaded at home base in Austin, whether it's in London, Tokyo, Madrid, Chicago, Los Angeles, Seattle, Miami, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, New York, Detroit, Toronto, Calgary, Montreal, Rio de Janeiro, Tokyo, Beijing, Sydney, Berlin. Paris, Dubai, Cairo, and Libya, which hopefully that will happen this year. It, whether it's in your hotel room, in the 
in the in the line at the um, at the buffet shack is the airport bathroom. It doesn't matter, boy. I'm making this very clear to you, you dumb son of a bitch. I get my hands on you one on one again. I'm sending you a, a very crystal clear message and a very crystal clear message to the evasion and the rest of the CWF. 2012 is the year of Akira Razor. I'm going to the top. And furthermore, Jack Bull, you're going, if you have to be the example, which I'll break, which you push me that much more further to the edge, the CWF will never be the same. I'm going to massacre you. I'm going to slaughter you in front of the CWF faithful. I will break your fucking leg. Casey Starr, you you and the evasion wanna wanna amp this up even higher. You know what? Motor City badass doesn't travel alone. Furthermore, you wanna escalate this too, boy? I can't be held responsible for what will happen to Sabrina and Mr. Yates and anybody else that associates with your sorry ass and anybody else that gets in the way of the Murder City badass will suffer the same fate. Enter my domain. You will leave in pain.